Welcome back once again to HowToCookGreatFood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's get on with this fantastic lamb dish. I'm just gonna run through some ingredients. Start of the show, lamb on the bone, a bit chunky, nice bit of fat on it. You want a little bit of fat, you don't want it too lean. I've got some potatoes at the back, aubergines or eggplants, chunky cut, celery, chunky cut tomatoes over there, some sliced onions, salt, pepper, loads of chopped garlic. I've got here some bay leaves, a touch of thyme, and some oregano. I'm gonna cook this in the pressure cooker because I want this really, really tender. If you're not gonna use a pressure cooker, well then this is gonna take a real long time. It will take possibly four to five hours to get that where I want it. Anyway, let's get over to the cooker. I'll explain more there. So, here we go. My pressure cooker's here. I've put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. First, what we wanna do is we wanna get our lamb in, like I say. Some nice bone in there. Once we finish with this, it's gonna really just be so tender, it's fall off. In it goes. In goes in my onions. Get those onions in there. My chopped garlic, plenty of. Salt, black pepper, just uh, now we just want to cook this without the lid on. Five or six minutes, I'm on a fairly high heat. Just want to kind of brown it, get that garlic and that seasoning happening into that meat. So I'll be back in five or six minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. See you then. All right. Let's give that a beautiful head start now. I sort of browned it nicely. Now I'm just going to add in some water. Not quite covered it, but you know. About two or three cups in there. I'm going to add some bay leaf, some dried oregano, a little bit of thyme, and I've got some celery which I'm going to pop in now. Give this one more mix. Now you could use a stock now instead of water if you wanted. I don't really like stock very much unless I make it myself. I hate those stock cubes. I think they're disgusting, to be honest. So, this is working well. Just with the water, we've got plenty of seasoning and stuff happening in there. Now we're gonna go on with the lid for the pressure cooker. We're gonna cook this for about seven minutes. It'll really kind of get it happening and start to tenderize it beautifully. All of those flavors are really getting there then. Then we're going to open it up, we're then going to add a few more of our vegetables and pressure it again. Now like I say, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can still do this, no problem, it's just going to take a long time. It's that meat that we need to get super, super tender. Anyway, I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, this has settled down, my safety valve has gone off. And I've turned the heat off. Let's open it up. Let me just let a little steam out there, otherwise it will cover the lens completely. That should be okay. There we go, look at that, it's fantastic. Now that meat is already starting to cook really beautifully. We're not quite there yet. Now let's get our eggplant in there. Like I say, nice and chunky cut. Potatoes, again, nice and big. And those tomatoes. Give this a mix. Now those tomatoes will 
pretty much disappear in there and, and create a nice little sauce for us. Check this again for a little bit of seasoning if you want. I'm going to do that a, a bit later. We've still got a, a good amount of moisture in there. You certainly don't want to be putting a pressure cooker on without liquid in it. That could be a disaster. The lid's going to go back on. Saying that, these modern pressure cookers are fantastic. They really are safe. They're fantastic. And if you haven't got one, you should really get one. Because like I say, this is a 40 minute dish, which would take four hours, five hours maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna get the heat back on. Let's get that back up to pressure. 10 minutes I reckon now, and, and it, it, it'll, be, it'll be pretty much done I think. We'll take a look then. Okay, that's settled down once again, and I'm gonna now release the lock. Open her up. Like I say, just let me get rid of some of the steam first of all. Jump in and take a look now. With a knife, check that. Oh, look at those potatoes up there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That meat, I'm telling you, is going to be incredibly tender. What we need to do now, just want to get a little spoonful. That's fine. I'm not going to add any more salt or pepper to that. Let's give this a little mix and see how we're doing. Those tomatoes have broken down. There you go, look at that, little bones come straight out of there. Let me see if I can grab that. Just to show you, look, that had meat all around it. All off now. That indicates that this meat is really, really super soft. Those aubergines or eggplants are gonna break down in there and give that a beautiful sauce, sort of add to it now. Let's mix those in, those tomatoes and those aubergines. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful casserole, well not really a casserole, because it's not done in the oven, but a, a stew, absolutely delicious. Add what you like, if you want to add some carrots in there or whatever, it's all good. Get yourself a pressure cooker if you haven't got one, they really are fantastic. We hope you enjoy that and we'll see you again soon, bye bye.